skulls can help unlock the paradox of humanity's history. For long, archaeologists have evaluated unusual artifacts and strange skulls that lack appropriate definition. Today, a big percentage of existing archaeological discoveries challenge a researcher's perspective of history. The Earth carries numerous unrevealed secrets, and many skeletons have been discovered over the years. From the Atacama alien skeleton to a centaur skeleton, here are the most bizarre skeletons ever discovered. Huh? Hmm. Number 10. Atacama Alien Skeleton The weird Atacama skeleton was discovered in 2003 at the Atacama Desert in Chile. Conspiracy idealists believed that the skeleton belonged to an extraterrestrial. The skeleton had an extended skull and 10 ribs. According to the idealists, there was no way the skeleton could have belonged to a human being seeing that humans have 12 ribs. Some of the idealists suggested that the skeleton could either have been from a primate or an aborted fetus. It was not until later on when scientists reported that the skeleton indeed belonged to a human being. According to the scientists, the extended head could have been as a result of intentional skull deformation executed in Central America nearly a thousand years ago. No one has ever established the actual age of the skeleton, even though researchers suggest that perhaps the death took place slightly several decades ago. Some scientists believe the deformed skull was a high head syndrome, or turocephaly, a birth deficiency that leaves a cone shape at the top part of the skull. The skeleton's DNA showed that it belonged to a child aged around 6 to 8 years old, even though it measured only 15 centimeters long. Scientists couldn't figure out how an 8-year-old child could have been that tiny. While dwarfism was an option, it didn't account for the difference between the skeleton's size and age. Something that the scientists found unusual is the fact that approximately 9% of the skeleton's genetic code didn't fit within the human DNA. This was attributed to manipulation of lab results, deterioration of the DNA, or lack of enough data. Numerous questions about the Atacama skeleton still linger, and it's probably going to be a long time before this unusual skeleton becomes an actual enigma. Number 9. Rupkin Skeletons a forest guard of British descent made a shocking discovery in Rupkind, India in 1942. Approximately 16,000 feet above sea level, right at the base of a small valley, was a frozen lake with numerous skeletons. When the snow melted during the summer, more skeletal remains were unearthed, some lying randomly within the edges of the lake, while others were floating in the water. Since the skeletons were discovered during wartime, many people assumed that they belonged to Japanese soldiers who had perished out of exposure as they escaped through India. This discovery sent shockwaves among the British government who were afraid of a land invasion from the Japanese. They would later send investigators to establish the truth behind the discovery. After evaluation, the investigators found that the bones did not belong to Japanese soldiers seeing that they were already old. The bones, hair, and flesh were intact, having spent considerable time in the cold, dry air. Still, no one could establish where they emanated from. Further, investigators couldn't figure out what had caused the deaths of more than 200 people in the small valley. There was lots of speculation, with some people saying that a ritual suicide, a landslide, or an epidemic were responsible for the deaths. For long, the Skeleton Lake remained a mystery, and it wasn't until 2004 when a tour to the site revealed the mystery. According to DNA evidence collected by researchers, the bones date back to approximately 850 AD. The collection of bones was comprised of both tall and short bones. According to an ancient local legend, the remains of King Jastawal were part of the bones. The king's disobedience while on pilgrimage with his royal entourage and queen caused anger in Mata, the Hindu goddess. Mata then created avalanches and thunderstorms as a sign of revenge, which rained humongous hailstones on the king and his entourage. Number 8. Ireland Tree Skeleton an unusual skeleton was discovered between the roots of a beech tree believed to be 215 years old in Colooney Sligo, Ireland. This was after the tree came tumbling down following a heavy storm. The bones, said to have been approximately 1,100 years old, were said to belong to a 21-year-old man. According to the director of Sligo Leitrim Archaeological Services, Marion Dowd, the person's death occurred violently. Knife wounds found on the skeleton's chest revealed that the individual was stabbed to death. However, he struggled to save his life after the stabbing incident. Available evidence shows that the individual was a Christian, a cemetery and a church had been near the site, and his head was pointed west. The individual could have been buried by his family or friends after which the tree was planted. The bizarre skeleton's presence among the tree roots is a total coincidence. 
evidence. Studies would later reveal that whoever planted the tree didn't know that a body had been buried there. Number 7. Long Skulled Skeleton an assumed alien skeleton with an extended skull was discovered in the Russian Stonehenge, Arkame. According to ufologists, the remains belonged to a humanoid figure which appeared like the 3,000-year-old Peru Paracas elongated skulls. DNA evaluation of Peruvian skulls indicated that the skeletons were not human. Still, researchers suggest that the skeletons found in Russia belonged to a Sarmati woman. Even though it was not extraterrestrial, her remains were older compared to the Paracas skull by approximately 1,000 years. Her skull was extended, which scientists attributed to head binding. Speaking to the Russian news agency in 2015, Maria Makarova, a researcher, confirmed that they had discovered a preserved skeleton. She was quoted saying, I would not exclude the possibility that the skeleton belongs to a woman from the Sarmati tribe that lived in the territories of what is now modern-day Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and southern Russia. Her skull was elongated because the tribe did so by tying up the heads of their children with rope. It was clearly a tradition in the tribe. Number 6. Sexually Perverse Nuns Archaeologists in Littlemore Priory, Oxfordshire found 92 skeletons of nuns whose remains were connected with the violent, perverse, and sexual obsession which took place within the walls of the nunnery. The priory, which was founded in the year 1110, would later be dissolved by 1525 by Cardinal Wolsey when its mother superior was disciplined following her sins. The nun's bones could not be interred in the nunnery, which is viewed as a respectable and honorable place, just as the nuns were expected to be honorable. They were discovered in the Priory Cemetery, with one nun having been buried adjacent to a stillborn baby face down, perhaps as a show of repentance for her sins. Many people believe she was among the nuns whose behavior forced the cardinal to dissolve the Priory. A discovery made in the 16th century showed that Catherine Wells, the prioress and a nun in the priory, had illegal children. Further, Wells would later admit to abusing nuns physically who, according to her, had misbehaved. It's believed that one of the nuns could have thrown an unwanted baby in the privy. A woman who was deliberating nunhood was horrified by the nun's spiteful ways such that she abandoned the priory. Further investigations showed that Wells had stolen from the nunnery to facilitate her daughter's dowry. The father of the child was a priest, and he visited her and their daughter at the priory regularly. The father of the second nun's child was already a married man. Wells would later reveal that sexual relations between men who resided near the priory and the nuns, and other strange happenings, had been going on for approximately eight years. Number 5. Centaur Skeleton a skeletal sculpture of the centaur is exhibited at the Tucson's International Wildlife Museum. The sculpture was created by Bill Willers, a gifted sculptor. According to Bill, the statue is designed as part of a collection named Mythological Wildlife. He continues to say that his aim was to make people think that the sculpture was real. The exhibits include various mythological creatures which are meant to inform visitors that science resulted from myths, and some of them are based on the actual world. For instance, the Protoceratops is believed to have inspired the creation of the unicorn in one way or the other, while the Cyclops could have resulted from a misinterpretation of Mastodon's remains. Number 4. Bigfoot Skeletons no Bigfoot has been preserved or discovered to date. Probable remains have been found to belong to popular animals. Bigfoot bones were apparently collected following Mount St. Helens eruption. However, it's believed that the National Guard damaged them together with a collection of animal bones which had also been discovered then. A Bigfoot jawbone is believed to have disappeared in a residential fire, while a college is said to have destroyed a Bigfoot skull prior to returning its pieces and bits to its claimant. Many Bigfoot specimens are said to have disappeared from museums, while numerous Bigfoot bones were perhaps misplaced, destroyed, or lost in mysterious ways in the last years, according to idealists. Many people believe that nature disposes of Bigfoot skeletons, or animals simply devour the bones. Ants and microbes also play a huge role in destroying what remains of the skeletons. Even though some researchers suggest that there are numerous Bigfoot skeletons and bones, scientists are yet to figure out whether the creature even exists in the first place. Number 3. Vampire Skeleton a grave with a toothless skeleton believed to be 700 years old was discovered recently in Bulgaria. Inside the skeleton, an iron rod had been forged through the chest and lay right beside the skeleton. Archaeologists believe that the act of hitting the individual with an iron rod and later extracting the teeth was a way of preventing them from reincarnating as a vampire. The grave lay in a churchyard with thick stone walls framing it.
Number 2. Poisoned Skeletons A Persian army was out to destroy the walls of Dura Europos, a busy city located in what is now modern-day Syria. Roman soldiers had been tasked with defending the city when they suddenly attacked a narrow tunnel. There, a toxic black smoke poisoned their lungs and they choked to death. A nearby Persian soldier, suspected to have been responsible for poisoning the soldiers, also choked to death. A skeleton suspected to have been that of the Persian soldier would later be discovered in the Dura siege tunnels with his armor drawn around his chest. According to archaeologists, he was probably attempting to haul it as he passed away. N Number 1. Castrated Skeleton the skeleton belonged to Gaspare Pacchiarotti, a man who was famous in the 19th century. An evaluation of his bones revealed how the surgical procedure had affected his body. Gaspare Pacchiarotti was castrated prior to his 12th birthday as a way of preserving his voice. Pacchiarotti was 190 centimeters, a fact that was noticeable from the long leg bones associated with Castrati. Just like Pacchiarotti, Castrati suffered from osteoporosis. Pacchiarotti had a low bone density on his legs and arms and various fractures in his lumbar spine. Are you surprised by the details of these skeletons? Would you have been courageous enough to view them? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!